Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. Opposition spokesman on industry Peter Bunting is calling for the government to plug the revenue leakage arising from a bauxite industry concession. Kimberly Broderick has the details. Mr. Bunting says the government is losing revenue from bauxite producers who import fuel at discounted rates but do not use it for mining. He was speaking in the House of Representatives on Tuesday during a debate on the bauxite and alumina industries encouragement act. So what I'm asking you is if you can, through your team, say if there is a special monitoring mechanism, an ongoing mechanism, an, an audit team or, a, or a, um, you know, an enforcement team to ensure that because anecdotally there's a lot of leakage and, um, and from a competition point of view, that is well, the, the unfair competition point of view, that is has been that point has been made repeatedly in public by other players finance minister dr nigel clark says the commission of customs will investigate the claims but noted that the issues are not unique to the bauxite industry ask the, the commission of customs to look into this one in particular but i want i don't want the members or the public at large to believe that this is something that's a problem that's unique to, if it indeed is a problem, that it would be unique to bauxite and lumina. It is whenever you have a structure that some people pay this amount and others pay that amount, and we have that structure across the breadth of industries and what people import. If you're a manufacturer, you can get certain things tax-free. If you're not a manufacturer, you pay the duty. The, the theoretical possibility of leakage exists. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline Business. The Bank of Jamaica BOJ will be reducing the cash reserves that deposit-taking institutions are required to hold against their prescribed liabilities by 2 percentage points to 9% effective June 3. This is the second reduction in the cash reserve requirement by the Central Bank for 2019. Effective March 1, BOJ reduced the cash reserves requirement for deposit-taking institutions by 3 percentage points to 9%. That reduction allowed the release of $16.8 billion to deposit-taking institutions. In a statement Wednesday, the BOJ noted that the planned reduction in the cash reserve requirement next month will increase liquidity in the financial system by a further $12.3 billion thereby supporting the expansion of credit to businesses and households at lower rates and on better terms. Additionally, the overall liquid asset requirement is expected to fall to 21% effective June 3. In Thursday's trading session, the JSE combined index advanced by 5,913 points to close at over 400,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 61 stocks, of which 34 advanced, 18 declined, and 9 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by 16 points to close at 3,105. Stocks advanced for AMG Packaging and Paper, Cargo Handlers, Caribbean Cement, Carreras Limited, and Derriman Trading. Stocks declined for Barita Investments, Berger Paints, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Caribbean Producers, and Epley 7.50%. Trading firm were 1834 Investments, Fosrich Company, G West Corporation, Indies Pharma Jamaica, and KLE Group. JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with over 5 million units, followed by J Jamaica Producers Group Limited with a little over 1 million units, and Proven Investments Limited with almost 700,000 units. News in Oil. Oil futures were up more than 1% on Thursday as tensions in the Middle East grew, with a Saudi-led coalition launching airstrikes in retaliation for recent attacks on its crude infrastructure. Brent crude futures settled at $72.62 a barrel, up 85 cents after touching their highest level in three weeks. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures settled at $62.87 a barrel, gaining $0.81 cents after hitting its strongest level in two weeks. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.